So, Breach has got a new update. The ship map is released. Wesley says, hi at everyone. <laughs> Ready to board the new update. Introducing ship. This new map features an ESCF transport vessel that was discovered by the Revol Revolter's intelligence. It is suspected of carrying a potential dangerous payload. Uh, ship is playable on bomb defusal as well as control point. Aside from adding a new map, starting today, Tox Mod will be active in public servers um, to help us enforce our code of conduct. If you're not sure what Toxmod is, check out the previous announcement. I will be going over that. Looks like there's a new community challenge for wildest trick shots. That's pretty cool. As always, let us know what you think and happy breaching. Cool. Let's go over those dev notes. Dev notes, release notes, ship update. Features content, introducing a ship in bomb defusal control point. Gameplay general fix issue with players getting stuck in crouch mode. That probably would have been annoying. Fix issue with sprinting didn't cancel crouch mode. Okay. Uh, fix issue where vaulting made players glitch in the wall. I remember having that during my speed run. Economy uh, increase loss bonus from 500 to 1,000 credits when losing more than two rounds in a row. That's a pretty big change right there. Gun changes. Limited the amount of weapons per player to one primary, one sidearm per round. Okay, so you can't you can't buy like 20 Tauruses then. That's okay. Absolute bummer, but you know that's fair. They probably have to limit the amount of like entities in game. You know that way people don't overload the server. I I haven't had anyone who's tried or I haven't I don't know anyone who's tried that, but you never know. Removed Yurikon front grip attachment. Okay. Gadget changes, fix flash effect persisting to the next round. That would have been so funny. I've never experienced it, but uh, fix healing syringe not working on the chest. Okay, that's nice. Fix repel line extending way too far. Bots will now sprint. Ooh. Bots will reload when their clip is low and there are no targets. Nice. Fix bots would not buy weapons first round. Okay. Yeah, that, that's going to be nice, especially for um, taking over bots. Uh, fix bots randomly shooting a wall in control point. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, fix bots ending up outside playable area when the player disconnects. Fix bots unable to interact with planted EMP. It seems they did a lot of work on the bots, which is really, really good. Maps hideout prevent gadgets from being placed under the curtains and geometry fixes. Okay, that's fair. I know of some places where that could apply. Factory prevented players from walking on the displays on floor one. Display room. Skyscraper geometry fixes, preventing the EMP from being planted under the desks in floor and control room. Uh, user interface general. Paint markers are no longer invisible when nearby. Fixed tiles floating up in the voting menu. Fixed ping markers from the previous round still being visible during by face. Spectator disabled hit markers when the UI is disabled. Correct the gun angles for the vessel. Fix EMP icon display on players with EMP. Fix character models sometimes not being visible. Okay, that's nice. Um, other social fixes. Fix conflict issues with friends list. And resolve the issues with not all party members joining a match. That's really nice. Looks like they did a lot of work on the bots. You, you know, they did a lot of work in general. None of the guns were really changed. Except for the Yurikon's front grip being removed. Um, I've never really used a lot of the Yurikon in games, so that gun's really good for close range because of the extremely wide pellet spread. So I don't think that's going to make too much of a difference, but I guess we'll see. Here, let's talk about the the Tox mod. It has always been important that Preachers is fun and safe for all players. Consequently, we have been working with Modulate to implement their Tox mod solution to increase our ability to identify and remove toxic behavior and rules of conduct violations that happen in voice chat. We know how important and safe and respectful community is for the long-term success of the game and for all of you who spend time in Breachers. You can think of Toxmod as another player joining in a high-risk voice chats because just like any other player, if Toxmod hears something scary or automatically will submit a report, Neither our team nor Modulate's team will have access to listen to any conversations had in the game except for segments that have been reported. Toxmod will not send your voice data to, to our voice monitors unless a potential harm is identified. Hate speech, harassment, sexually explicit language, etc. Casual and non-abusive swearing will not be impacted by this. We'd also like to make clear that the final decision about how and whether to punish a bad actor will be entirely up to the Breacher's team, not up to Toxmod. For more 
details about Tox mods and modulus process, feel free to click the link. I do agree, Tox mod is probably going to be good. Yeah, for the long-term success of the game, it's it's probably going to be really good to just have a like a better system in place to report toxic behavior. We'll have to see how well it works. Seeing as they're pairing with another company, I'm assuming it's going to work. Uh, it's nice that they have that privacy where they will only have access for segments that have been reported. I do think this is a pretty exciting update. They got a new map. First new map since official release. I will check out the trailer actually. Let's do that. Okay, we got a little bit more on the lore. Ooh, it's looking pretty close range. I always liked that they have that um, ability, like that visual indication of where stairs are for fast rotations. That's pretty high. I can't wait to try it out. That's going to be exciting. I do believe that is all though. So, thanks so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know, the usual. And take care.